सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यू एच वी थ्री एंड वी ओपन अप मॉड्यूल फाइव वी स्पोक ऑफ लेक्चर ट्वेंटी वन वेर वी आर वी वर डिस्कसिंग ह्यूमन कॉन्डक्ट एंड इन ह्यूमन कॉन्डक्ट पर्टिकुलरली वट वी रिफर टू एज मॉडल वन where we were looking at the role of the human being and the conduct expression of the conduct starting based on starting from the realization within to all the way to the expression outside so if we go back a few slides we can do a little recap um what i would say is maybe we can go to where we talking about the science part so the back Go back some more. Yeah. So you can see that when we were talking of the conduct, for the conduct outside, the expression outside. First of all, there has to be clarity within. Without the clarity within, that what to do and why to do is not clear. so what we mentioned here as 3.1 the first thing is having clarity of the coexistence the submergence the realization with that clarity then seeing my role my participation in this whole existence so which we referred to as 3.2 which you can see at the level of contemplation once i have clarity about what to do what is my role then how to go about doing it that comes next that is 3.3 where we are at the level of thought we are trying to work out the program within us about how to go about it with this clarity now seeing my role i have to take part in this now what to do to actually how to go about doing it basically that part at the level of thought is 3.3 and with all of that making that program within then it comes out in the expression by giving instruction to the body so when i interact with other human beings it reflects in my behavior that is 3.4 when i work with rest of nature it is reflected in that that is 3.5 and if i look at my participation in the larger order it is reflected in that so that is 3.6 so with this what is happening i am doing justice in my relationships with other human beings i am taking care of nature also working for my prosperity but at the same time working for prosperity in nature and i am fulfilling the human goal so i am happy i am making the other happy i am taking care of nature and essentially i am participating and fulfilling the human goal and ultimately this leads to 3.7 an undivided human society and for that i have to make that effort because my role should be very clear 3.8 is the universal human order 
and then to try to have it generation after generation in the form of human tradition that is 3.9 so this shows the entire root of how we go about it starting from the clarity so if i don't have clarity about the way the coexistence is then i may make a different program i may not see my relationship i may not see my participation and then what happens we just keep waiting for something outside to change so that we can be happy we keep getting unhappy and complaining about others so this clarity must be achieved in each one of us so that we can not only see things the way they are but also be able to see our role in the existence very clearly so that the programs that we make can be in line with that and we can achieve our human goal of happiness and prosperity and at the same time participate in this undivided human society universal human order and human tradition so this we discussed yesterday and if you go to the next slide ultimately what that does is like we said in the existence things are already very smooth very much in harmony except for the human being not being clear about his role so once that happens then we play our part we take care of our role in the existence and then the picture gets completed then there is completeness in our conduct definiteness in our conduct also just as there is definiteness in the other three orders just as the other three orders are in harmony now we also can be in harmony with the existence and be in coexistence with the rest of the orders so this is what we talked about yesterday and then if we can go to the self reflection part yeah so we said that we need to observe our current conduct and see whether it is aligned to human conduct or not now this is a very big statement it's not something that you can do in one day and say over and done with it needs constant evaluation reevaluation checking first of all awareness of the conduct and then being able to see whether you are in alignment with human conduct or not so all these um, self reflection exercises that we keep giving it will be worth to um, note them down somewhere and go over them again and again as part of your um as part of the exploration that we are doing within and you will see the changes happening you will see how you thought earlier and how the thinking starts changing how earlier your program may have been different and now how you make a different program based on the clarity that you are getting within so i think it will be worth to take down all these assignments put them in one place and turn by turn you know reflect on some of these maybe take one or two every day 
See, UHV3 course will be over in maybe another 15 days. But what we have gained from this, until and unless we keep churning that within us and exploring within, it will be gone very soon. Something new will come up, some new assumption, and then that will take over my entire attention, and then this will be gone. This is what happens many a time. So, if we can continue with this exploration and see where we stand and how we are making progress, it will be worth something worth to do. I think we can do that. The second question we had asked was, identify the areas where your conduct is not completely humane. Detail out what you are thinking to do about it. Again, this is a very broad question. We have to be, we have to evaluate ourselves correctly. We tend to look at our intention and we feel we are fine. But we saw how we look at the other's competence and say their intention is not fine. So we even now are making those mistakes due to lack of clarity within. So we have to work on our clarity within. Third question was, at present, what do you think of the scope of your participation or conduct That is, till which level of your living do you see yourself participating? Within the family, society, country, nature, or entire existence? And if I take care of a few plants in my backyard, that doesn't say that I am participating all the way up to nature. In fact, nurturing, protecting, having concern about, we'll see that we may not be seeing beyond the immediate family. Of course, when we are participating as, say in this, as a volunteer in human values, then you can say indirectly, we are also working for the society. So in fact, this is one opportunity that we all have while doing the work that we are doing, while taking care of our families. At the same time, we have the opportunity to participate in the larger order. That whole framework has been set up for us. We just So this is fun. And the last question will, was, with how many people are you able to see and accept your relationship unconditionally and continuously? That is, you have the natural feeling for them, like trust, respect, in continuity. That means you never ever doubt their intention. And you are able to respond and not react in all conditions. Now, this may be something that we can discuss right now. The others are too broad, I think, to be able to take discussion about. But this last point we can, if somebody would like to discuss right now, we can take it up. And then we'll move on to the next lecture. Yeah, if anybody would like to share. Madam, as you told, uh, I have been uh, unable to uh, see the human conduct, see my human conduct uh, 
based on the first possibility in uh, first kind because uh, we should come from uh, self realization i have not uh, experienced that so uh, uh, the second one so, so the first one only right now no yes madam yes madam so uh, the first one only it's possible so in human conduct the fourth point you are asking that is uh, mainly family madam <coughs> unconditional love is only on family in that family also only few people and outside also uh, whom i like only that is also based on uh, the, the precondition so some without precondition i love madam so that uh, extends uh, sometimes to more people sometimes uh, i am trying madam because even though uh, suppose uh, i take my son whatever he say, he does uh, unconditional i love him ha uh, madam yes i mm -hmm. are you able to hear yeah yeah no. madam mm -hmm. so how many people are you able to see and accept your relation unconditionally means i can say almost zero but uh, many a times uh, uh less than 5 10 only madam what i have observed no so unconditionally that means you can't say both no? yeah I, why because why five, because something also <laughs> so yeah, almost i can say overall zero <laughs> yeah because what happens it's true, true it, what you're saying is very true <laughs> for all of us we may be able to see that once you say unconditional and that you always respond never react in yeah, any yeah. condition now that makes it little challenging yes madam it? even my mother also yes true mother loves me always irrespective of my uh, behavior even then i am unable to love him love her unconditionally always very pathetic <laughs> 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 but we have to see see we have to see that at least we can see where we need to reach yeah, we weren't yeah, thinking about these things at all yes madam now we have become aware and we want to be able to go forward and move in that direction and we are doing with the exploration you like you yourself have shared oh, you have yeah. been experiencing more moments of calm more yeah, moments yeah. when you respond so we have to keep going in that direction yes madam thank you so thank you madam yes thank you anybody else would like to share something or we'll go to the next lecture then madam can i add uh, one sentence i think uh, could you please clear mm -hmm. actually in uh, model 1 uh, the two possibility what i have understood kindly correct me first one conduct when we are moving towards higher activities means that is the conduct of uh, a sadhaka second one is uh, conduct of a realized person i think madam could you please correct me yeah is correct na thank you so even after realization now i need to bring all my lower activities in line oh, conduct okay. will include you know the expression of this conduct will be after having all my lower activities in line the expression that you see in the behavior in the work yeah the yeah madam it's very yeah. perfect that is yes. thank you madam thank you yeah. definiteness in that conduct yeah definitely madam madam thank you thank you uh didi uh, myself is concerned uh, uh, i am uh, unknowingly if i really make uh, accept and uh, have a strong feeling of relationship with uh, family and any friends and or in the society any member i feel some satisfaction or some thing ha happiness unknowingly how it uh, i don't know but uh, it's uh, really difficult uh, but uh, since long uh, i am trying and yes. uh, i am able to do uh, some extent uh, not uh, very fully nice. very nice yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, how i get such uh, satisfaction and uh, happy feelings i don't know but i am getting that 
what i have to you feel the right feeling within you you feel happy yes <laughs> because uh, before uh, hv i told many times uh, i keep uh, people away from me who yes. are uh, opposing I me mean. and now i made strong feeling of relationship with them forgetting all the past uh, things uh, what happened among us then uh, i have lot of uh, uh, satisfaction in that uh, even though i lose uh, financial or uh, some anything uh, but uh, satisfaction is within me uh, what mm-hmm. i observed that is uh, i would like to share with you. wonderful observation thank you for sharing that i recall uh, that there used to be many complaints from your side earlier and uh, now you are able to yeah after uh, so for it's example significant. very nice my sister after one decade i kept away from them and i didn't talk with them and anything after hv i myself made a phone call and they are very uh, happy and myself also very happy and mm-hmm. we made a relationship with family and all those now nice. yeah very nice in fact in our sharing we'll be having sharing uh, next month after we finish yeah you can uh, document this it will yes. be very useful and inspiring for others who hear it no who are yeah. starting fresh yes not, not only uh, family relations uh, even my colleagues and all those who were opposing me in the past uh, i don't have any such feelings in my mind and uh, i am uh, as usual uh, i uh, my response uh, always responding them even though they react sometimes uh, and uh, some satisfaction i will have because of that nice very nice okay i will do that yeah thank you thank you uh titi my exploration is with my uh, family my sisters my uh, mother i have full trust i have full respect also but in many times the condition comes that uh, mm, it's not uh, we say it is uh, continuous happiness or continuous harmony the situations are coming up where um, we feel that no this is not the uh, uh, i don't like this uh, particular part of the person so why is it that that we are even trust matlab full full trust, full respect then why these kind of situations are coming up with the, these with these people in even in the family <laughs> yeah because when we you know when everything outside is fine perfect and we sit down and think about it mm-hmm. then we don't doubt their intention yeah but at moments when something is not to my liking yeah say the other person says something which is uh, which i don't appreciate or which i think is not the right behavior with me yes yeah so at that moment if i am not aware yeah i am getting irritated or angry that is a doubt in intention isn't it at that moment okay see your feeling is not the same all the time ha huh, yes that's what now if i ask you at this time you say no no i have full trust but okay. at other moments there may be other moments when mm. you are not aware of this mhm and at that moment you are getting ir- irritated and angry by their behavior isn't it ha huh, yes so why is that because somewhere i am doubting their intention i am looking at their behavior and mm-hmm. i am saying they don't want to do this okay. and i am getting unhappy about it i think they don't want to make me happy ultimately that's the bottom line isn't it yes yes so at that moment when it happens i don't have trust in fact okay. you notice this isn't it okay that's so that's what you mean by having the feeling in continuity being able mm-hmm. to respond in all conditions unconditionally Mm-hmm. that is what makes it challenging ha huh, right now the situation is that uh, if we think it is zero uh, with 
with somebody or with anybody i mean uh, to some people we react in this way to some other people we react in even though we are comparatively to earlier situations it is drastically improved mm-hmm. but still with specific few people even though i could not able to uh, keep calm i mean uh, especially at workplace two three people are there where it's going to be conflict every time where as soon as they start and my internal opposition start i mean that my no ka 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 karne chalu ho jata hai ah so you, there you have to be very aware of yourself mm-hmm. why you have the opposition perhaps you are bringing the past incidents forward no mm-hmm. this person behaved like this in the past and you expect him to behave the same way so you will note that you already have the feeling of opposition within you ha ah, right right thinking. yes no you see the person mm-hmm. or you ha ah, yes and you have yes. opposition now yes. here you can see very clearly that the other person has no role in this i am only creating this feeling of opposition within myself isn't it yes he is not yeah. even there in front of me perhaps ha ah, right right you right mm-hmm. and i have feeling of opposition so there it is my problem not the others problem isn't it the other doesn't even know that i am having this feeling of opposition mhm but i am unhappy because of it isn't yeah. it yeah yes 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 so But i am thinking essentially i am creating unhappiness for myself ha huh, right we keep doing that uh, didi actually kya uh, the things is uh, we, they we used to conduct the meeting and uh, every time they are saying is what as i uh, as she order something that meeting will be at this particular hour everybody should reach there whether they are busy she doesn't care or bother whether the the person could be busy doing some other job no she you should come and if you didn't come then i will not Uh, brief you what is there in the meeting and they, and she start complaining that you have not submitted this you have not so how to deal with this situation see there will be many situations that are not to your liking ha huh, yes there, but there are only two possibilities yeah no either we can discuss things with them with the mm-hmm. feeling of relationship okay no? just like mm-hmm. how you would with your own child sometimes no ah right 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 concern for the other being able yeah. to see that the other is also trying they yeah. don't want to make you unhappy mm-hmm. problem is we start with the feeling of opposition so there is no possibility of discussion because with that feeling of opposition when we go to talk it mm-hmm. becomes an argument ha ah, right we yeah. say the feeling of opposition the other person also reacts back hmm and it goes on so then no discussion is possible so yeah, one right. part is we can discuss and we okay. can try to see from the other's perspective other possibility is if you see that the other person will not change is not able to see is not having that competence mm-hmm. then we accept that this may take time Mm-hmm. but at the same time i need not doubt their intention i can see that it is a problem with competence and if i think i have better competence then i have mm-hmm. to take responsibility no in the relation ah, right right so then the first it starts with the acceptance that okay he has lack of competence or she has lack of competence it will take time mhm okay did you my natural yeah. acceptance if i refer to it my natural acceptance has not changed isn't it mhm ha huh. right right yeah yeah so try okay did you <laughs> i will try to see uh, I, i i was i mean uh, thinking also that i should go and discuss with her but whenever we used to start uh, she start 
accepted without i mean allowing or permitting you to say something so even i was thinking that i should take the help of some higher ups that uh, at least try to communicate to her if you work with your feeling mm mm-hmm. if you make sure that you have the right feeling mm mm-hmm. discussion will be possible okay okay i will try right thank you didi thank you so much thank you we'll take one more observation and then we'll go to the next uh, lecture i want to tell you that um, which term is rational unconditional trust on unconditional intention or unconditional trust if there is no trust on unconditional intention then uh, unconditional love is uh, possible but i didn't get you see if you are talking of unconditional love ji love because, is the complete feeling isn't it because uh, one minute let me just finish love is the complete feeling isn't it ji ji now to reach that complete feeling ji you have to start with trust if ji. there is no trust how will you reach love ji 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 so okay. and trust we can have for all ji so if the if we want the relationship to go forward to ji. begin with it starts with trust trust is the foundation value ji ji if there is no trust then we cannot have that unconditional love Bilkul. We keep doubting the intention. Yeah, right, Didi. Right. First, uh, uncon uh, trust on unconditional intention is required. Then, um, uh, the unconditional love will fulfill. Yeah. Bilkul. At Didi. least to begin with, we have to have trust and respect for all. Yes. Yes, Didi. It will be enough. Yes. Thank you, Didi. Namaste, all. Ji. You. Namaste. we will um, uh, for the moment we'll pause the questions and let us go to the next lecture so lecture 22 we are still on human conduct and we are looking at model 2 in model 1 you can uh, move to the next slide in model 1 in the last lecture we spoke of the role of the human being and it was one description of the complete human conduct in model 2 we'll look at one more description of human conduct where we will talk about policy and so on so in model 2 our um description includes one is human values secondly policy and thirdly character so we look at each one of these in a little more detail in fact um the detailed uh talk of human conduct will be there in uhv4 but in this course a brief uh description has been given so we will discuss each of these um in some detail human values policy and character so if we look at human values next slide if we look at the human values what are values actually really if you look at it values is understanding what to do as a human being and what not to do as a human being isn't it so we talked of the nine values the the feelings in human human relationship so there we can see how with those nine feelings that we spoke of in the previous um say uhv2 fdp we saw how we can do justice in our human human relationships 
with these feelings, with these values. And here we will look at some other formulations of this. We will look at not just with other human beings, but within myself, in society, or in the larger order and with nature also. So, we will discuss that in a bit. We will also look at policy, the detail of how to do. So, first and foremost with the values, understanding the values, you understand what to do and what not to do. Then once that what to do is clear, policy is about how to do. So now you have, you know, while the understanding was at the level of the B1 block, now the how to do part, you know, how to go about it, the planning, the programs, implementing it, all this, you will, your lower activity, your B2 block, your thought, there you are. Uh, sort of forming all these details. So you will look at, you know, we'll talk about this in little more detail later. So for all of these, for myself, for the body, for the nature around the physical facility, we need to protecting and rightly utilize it. We spoke of this briefly in the second FDP also. When we spoke of the body, we talked of feeling of self-regulation, nurturing, protecting, and rightly utilizing the body. So you'll find that for every, um, uh, you know, for myself, and for everything that I am related to. So with the body, with the nature, I will need to ensure this. And again, we will come to the details of this in a little bit. Then we will also look at character. So what is character? So on the basis of the values, the what to do, the what not to do, how the expression of this is in our behavior with other human beings, in our work with the rest of nature and in our participation in the larger order, that has to do with you know, having this compassionate behavior. That has to do with character. So in our behavior, behavior can be such that justice is ensured in the relationship so that there is mutual happiness. And also, we need to, what it says in the bracket, fill the gaps created in ignorance. What this means is, like for instance, Sangeeta Ji was just sharing. Somebody we have a problem with or we are not able to get along with in the office, something like that. And the moment we see them, again the irritation starts. We have the feeling of opposition. Now obviously many mistakes may have happened in the past. Not only from their side, from my side also. So I need to be aware of that. And for all the damaging behavior that I had in the past, for all the times that I may have reacted, I may have said things, nah, I may have had um, a behavior that was uh, far from compassion, in fact, you know, showing my expression of opposition, with all of that, the mistakes that I made, now I need to 
fill that gap. Now I need to compensate for that. So things have changed now. I am feeling I don't have this opposition. But still the person is seemingly reacting or not listening. So I can have definiteness in my behavior, but at the same time, I have to remember that in the past, I have also made many mistakes. So I can compensate for that. I can discuss, I can talk to them, I can let them know that, see, I can see that I also made mistakes. Rather than pointing fingers at them, I can discuss and say that I made this mistake in the past and I thought such and such thing. But now I can see that you were also trying hard or whatever it is. So you will find that the other is more than ready to talk and discuss. It is just that the feeling is not right. So we avoid. So that is justice in the behavior, justice in relationships, so that we can have mutual happiness. Then in the work, work with the rest of nature, when we say. So here we are talking about ensuring the preservation and mutual prosperity. Again, here we need to fill the gaps created in ignorance. For instance, so there is a forest and we want to preserve the forest. So we can do many things to preserve the forest. But to fill the gap that we created in the, in the earlier part, that is, you know, the deforestation that we have done, in the past, which has created so many problems. To compensate for that, we can plant more trees. So here you are filling the gap which was created in ignorance. Like for instance, for the rivers going dry. Now whatever the rivers are there with the water in them, we can help clean up those, we can try to preserve them. But we also need to do something about the rivers that have gone dry. We can do more planting of trees near the riverbeds so that water can be retained there and so many other things. So you would want to not just ensure preservation of what is there now, but also fill in the gap of the past things we have done in ignorance so that there is mutual prosperity, so that not only I become prosperous, but I am also taking care of the prosperity in nature. And then we can see that the wealth that we acquire, we acquire it rightfully, by the right means, with values. not by exploiting others, not by um, seeing only my profit, but not being able to see about the well-being of the other. So I need to rightly acquire my wealth and chastity in conjugal relationships. So all of these, the behavior, the work, the rightful acquiring of wealth, chastity and conjugal relationship, that all comes under the purview of the character. So we will look at things one by one, starting with the human values. You can go to the next slide. Yeah. So, when we talk of 
the values when we talk of the conduct in terms of the values so values within myself and we spoke of as we move up to the higher activities as we are able to see more and more we said we have these feelings of happiness peace satisfaction bliss and so on or you can club it all together and say continuous happiness so within the self this is what would result from living with values if you look at what we discussed in the second fdp about human human relationships in our behavior with other human beings we do justice in our relationships so we speak of those nine values the feelings uh, that we discussed there and then we um if we look at the universal human order if we look at our um participation in the larger order then we spoke of these right perseverance bravery generosity kindness beneficence compassion these are the feelings that you can see are naturally these are all naturally acceptable to us and with that we can work with um you know the larger order play our part play our role in that and when it comes to human and rest of nature relationships then we speak of it as utility value and artistic value we will look at all of this in a little more detail um in some time but this is just to put them all in one place to discuss so basically um this is again my role as a human being in the existence and we are discussing about the values what we had shared in the previous slide the what to do and what not to do that decision of what to do and what not to do and the expression of that in our behavior in our work in our participation in the larger order so and the result of this is not only mutual happiness within me all of those that we spoke of happiness peace satisfaction bliss all of this or continuity of happiness within myself and when i share it with the other in my uh human human relationship with the other then i do justice in the relationship and with that there is mutual happiness the other also feels happy in the universal human order where uh, i am looking at my participation in the larger order there i have these perseverance bravery generosity kindness beneficence compassion these are expressions in my uh, participation so because i have worked with or i have the understanding of the values then i have this this naturally reflects in my behavior in my work in my participation and when i work with the rest of nature also i preserve 
the nature and like we said take care of gaps in ignorance that we had earlier so that there is prosperity in nature and i can have prosperity within me also so this further discussion a little more detail we'll do um, later as we go along if we go to the next slide this is all expressed here in the same what we've been discuss discussing in the last slide understanding the participation our role in this existence so within the self on the basis of realization going all the way up to realization of coexistence being in harmony within myself in continuity and so all of those um what we have said having the peace happiness peace going from lower activity to higher activity the happiness peace satisfaction bliss and if you want to call it super bliss within the self then when we participate in human human relationships justice in the relationships when we participate in the universal order or universal human order as a human being then having all this perseverance bravery generosity kindness beneficence compassion all this we will talk about further and then participating in the human rest of nature relationship where we will talk of utility value of things and the artistic value yeah we can go to the next slide so here we the feelings that we were talking about no? happiness peace satisfaction bliss you can see these and we have discussed them earlier also so with the realization in within with that realization of the coexistence being able to see the submergence with that understanding the harmony so at the level of determination and understanding seeing the harmony within harmony in the nature so in the understanding part we are able to see this we have the clarity about this harmony and when we talk of the determination now all my effort will be for this for mutual enrichment so that the harmony in nature can be maintained this is now guided by realization and authentication realization means being able to see that submergence so having the clarity about the coexistence and when we say authentication now all my effort will be for authenticating this coexistence first of all when i see the coexistence now it makes sense how everything is in harmony how there is a relationship all that becomes clear to me and with that the authentication meaning now i want to have make the effort so that all my lower activities come in line and i can do my part in this now i can see that this is how the design in existence is so my role becomes very very clear to me and i want to bring it in my expression play my part play my role so that authentication within me so that now i will be putting all my effort to be one with this
so we are very short on time if there are any questions i'm just going to um lower the previous hands and uh, if anybody has any questions regarding what we have just been talking of any immediate questions we can take them otherwise we will continue forward or um any questions regarding what we have spoken of in fact this content is relatively new or the discussions that we've been having so far did four things can you uh, highlight further didi that in this bliss okay bliss satisfaction peace happiness align to the uh, four uh, say uh, row actually didi one set list yeah yes yes yeah. we we'll, in fact we'll go forward that is uh, the, a little detailing of that we'll do okay oh. yeah so if we can go to the next slide next slide okay we have it like this all right so uh, yeah so if you look at let us start with happiness in fact the lower most if you look at um happiness when we talk of happiness we are talking of harmony at the level of selecting and tasting now what is happening now it is on the basis of the realization on the basis of having all those uh, being able to see the submergence now with that when i am going about at the level of selecting and tasting now it is on the basis of that goal those values with that submergence so now this is guiding my sensations so selecting and tasting guided by comparing and analyzing but ultimately that goal is always in my view that clarity i have 